Hello students, welcome to this last uh, video module. In this module, we are going to discuss uh, uh, recent uh, the trends and uh, you know, changes that are there in uh, compensation management, especially we can say that emerging trends. So emerging trends uh, also very you know, uh, you know, relevant uh, for our discussion. And uh, so the learning object of this model is uh, to find out uh, uh, the changes and understand uh, the emerging uh, the trends uh, in the compensation management. So this is the take home out of this model. So emerging trends like you know, com competency based compensation is uh, now the trend because job holders, uh, the competencies uh, not the worth of the job. So we just look at the you know um, uh, competency of the, the job holder. It is not the worth of the job. So earlier we were discussing about the payment is uh, made based on the worth of the job, right? It is other way around. It is not worth of the job. It is worth of the job holder or the person. So the person competency and worth is uh, taken into consideration for the payment. Even juniors, if their competency is more than the senior juniors will get the more uh, compensation. So it's predictors of the superior uh, the performance and it, it shows that how much you know the level of uh, the performance is made. The acquisition of the, the competencies like improving uh, in results uh, significantly and we can see that the stock options. So whenever the shares are uh, released, you can see that uh, the employees uh, the given uh, opportunity to you know opt for the stock options. And uh, once you, you know, give the uh, stock to the employees, they feel that they are the owner, they are the integral part of the organization. Then at the same time, the profit linked bonus. So these days, you know, what are the profits that are made by the company? So employees also getting the uh, you know, good shares uh, beyond the bonus. So this is the, uh, the trend. So another important thing is the paradox of performance related compensation should motivate those with the high performance rating and uh, may uh, help uh, retain uh, high performance through uh, no evidence that uh, the poor performers have left the organization. So poor performance also will be there, so they won't lose. But of course, we'll be paying for the uh, no, highest performance. So you'll find that uh, the fairness will be there and then clear uh, linking between the efforts and then performance and then performance and then rewards. So these are the, the latest uh, the trends. Then you can see that you know, uh, uh, the emerging trend, 360 degree, the feedback is taken to consideration. Select the, the feedback tool, select the rater and use the feedback, review the feedback and integrate the, the process into a larger uh, the payment management system. So all these. So we'll take the, the feedback from everyone and how the employee is working, whether the, the person is properly working or not. So that is the, another uh, criteria for uh, now these days compensation. The competency-based compensation, as I said, the knowledge, skills, attitude, persons, and the rights that drive the superior performance. So it describes what uh, makes the people effective in the given the roles. So the behavioral associated with the superior the performance uh, that is also taken into consideration for the payment of uh, the compensation. So these are the uh, recent trends with the compensation based and then profit based and then stock options uh, the base. So you'll find all these are uh, now the emerging issues in the compensation management. So with this, uh, let me just stop here and then looking forward to meeting in the, the coming uh, the session 28, video 131. Thank you.